Visit Elmhurst.org to explore the new City of Elmhurst website. Find out the latest Elmhurst news, pay utility bills and parking tickets, report concerns, and much more. Elmhurst.org is an ideal way to discover what Elmhurst offers your business, your family, your life. And welcome to Elmhurst, our kind of town. I'm John Quigley, President and CEO of the Elmhurst Chamber of Commerce and Industry. And I'm in Wilder Park, just across from the Elmhurst College campus. And we're here to bring you coverage of the third annual Elmhurst Cycling Classic, brought to you by Superior Ambulance and a handful of other great Elmhurst sponsors. We are actually in the seventh of 10 races going on today. And those races are called Criteriums. And racers race in a criterium not based on time and not on a specific number of laps. After the race gets started, they view how fast the racers are going. 15 miles an hour, 20 miles an hour, 25 miles an hour, even 30 miles an hour, like the men's pro race. And then they adjust the number of laps based on that. The criteriums are called crits. And there's also some trouble out on this course. It's called a chicane. And it's, at, uh, it's on Hagen's Avenue where there's a big S curve that the riders are gonna have to handle. And in the men's pro race, there are almost 100 riders, many of whom will be going through that chicane at one time. So you're gonna see some amazing action. We're gonna bring you some great GoPro coverage from guys racing today, and you'll get to see that. We'll talk to some of the sponsors, we'll view some of the vendors, and we'll just show you what a great time it is here at the Elmhurst Cycling Classic. You're watching it on Elmhurst, our kind of town. I'm here with Elmhurst Mayor Steve Morley. Steve, we're at the third Elmhurst Cycling Classic. It's great for visitor and tourism, and many people don't understand how important V&T is for the city of Elmhurst. It's an absolutely fantastic way to showcase our town. We have a beautiful day. Uh, we're here at the Wilder Mansion. The course itself runs around Elmhurst College. We're only two blocks from downtown Elmhurst, so it really is a great day for Elmhurst. Now, three years ago when the, the concept of a race came to the city, what were you thinking? I really didn't know what to expect. Fortunately, there's an alderman on our council, Kevin York, who filled me in on what this was going to be about. And uh, as much as he could describe it, until you see it in person, uh, you really can't understand how heart-stopping it is. Now, I did notice you showed up today with your bike. Are you just doing the family fun ride, or are you going to try and sneak into the men's pro race? You know, I tried that last year, and they stopped me pretty quickly. So I think they have an eye out for me this year. I just used my bike to get here. Thank you, Elmhurst Mayor Steve Morley. I'm here with Elmhurst Alderman Kevin York, and Kevin was one of the 
uh, instigators, for lack of a better term, organizers of the original Elmhurst Cycling Classic, now three years in the making. He's also a board member of the DuPage Cycling Foundation, which benefits and shares the benefits of this event. Kevin, tell us a little bit of how it got started three years ago and how it's advanced over that time. Sure, you bet. Well, a number of years ago, we started looking for um, a series promoter and um, had some uh, interesting discussions, but we finally found a good um, person in Tim Radcliffe who knew the appropriate people in the bicycling, bicycle racing world. So we were able to get hooked up with Prairie States, and that really has laid the foundation for a great event that we have going here. So as you noted, we are in our third year. It just gets bigger and better every year. This year during the winter, we formed the uh, DuPage Cycling Foundation, which is the benefactor of the proceeds from this race. Um, we've been uh, working as hard on the race as we have been on developing our team, and we've got just wonderful board members. We've got wonderful founding organization. We've got wonderful sponsors. This event just wouldn't be what it is without everybody involved, and I'm so glad to see it growing organically and, and that we're uh, building a great team here. Now, you yourself are a cyclist. Uh, you've done some biking. Did you get a chance to get out today in one of the criteriums? I did not this year. I promise to do it next year. I'm uh, With my advanced age and everything, I'm going to be in the 50 plus and the 60 plus uh, series, but um, I'm looking forward to doing it next year. I'm just a little bit too close to some uh, uh, medical issues that I've had recently, so um, we'll be doing that next year. Well, we look forward to seeing you race and hope you don't have a blowout. Right. I agree with you on that 100%. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks. Kevin York, Alderman for the City of Elmhurst. I'm here with Rob Hocking, the president of DuPage Cycling Foundation. Rob, the foundation was put together recently. Tell us a little bit about it and what you guys hope to do with the proceeds from the third annual Elmhurst Cycling Classic. Sure, sure. Yeah, the uh, the idea around the foundation was we have so many people here in Elmhurst that are really helping us put on this event, and we just wanted to get them all credit. You know, in the first two years we set out with this foundation, or set out with the race, it was really put on by EMC2, and a lot of that was people behind the scenes, wives of people from EMC2 and, and, and so forth that were helpful but maybe didn't get the credit due. So this year we decided to go with a 501c3 company for uh, purpose of fundraising and we formed the DuPage Cycling Foundation. Uh, we have a board of I think roughly seven people. Um, this is our first well, event of the year, first event of uh, since inception, and uh, so far it's been a we've been a huge success. We've had a great great deal of support from the community raising funds. Um, what we're going to be looking to do it's it's we don't really have the funds earmarked yet. It's it's the kind of thing where we wanted to get the race done, collect the funds, and then we're going to meet here shortly and turn around and and uh, look to really distribute those where we can make the best of them. So I assume you got to be president because. You lane, took Mr. one step Conrad back, Ward. and everybody took two steps back. <laughs> maybe, maybe. It was. Uh, it, it happened to be my idea so uh, to form the foundation, so uh, Tim Radcliffe definitely made sure that I was the front and center of it. Have you had a chance to race today? Unfortunately, uh, two weeks ago I was in a ride up in Montreal, a uh, charity ride for uh, cancer, uh, Cure Cancer, and I was crashed out. Well, so we, I'm without a bike, I got a damaged leg, but uh, I'm here in spirit. We know what that's like. We've seen Tim crash the last two races, and he's out on the course right now, exactly. hoping he can do well in the men's 35. We'll see what happens. We're hopeful the third time's a charm, and he's going to come through with uh, hopefully a podium finish. We'll see. Thanks, Rob. Thanks for your uh, donation and your charity work. Thank you.
One of the many sponsors of the third annual Elmhurst Cycling Classic is Edwards Elmhurst Healthcare. And we have Dr. Dan Sullivan representing Edwards Elmhurst. And they are all about being healthy driven, whether it's on a bike or not. Tell us about that. Yeah, you're right, healthy driven. That's what our, our platform is. With Healthy Driven, we are promoting health through prevention and through lifestyle changes in combination with the medicine that we can offer at Elmhurst, which is cutting edge. What are some simple ways that people can improve their everyday health care? Well, I think the first thing they need to do is they need to assess where they're at. And if you get online at the Elmhurst, Edward Elmhurst uh, website, you can identify programs and tools that can help you assess your risk. After you've assessed your risk, we can give you a challenge or you can develop your own challenges to start living the healthy lifestyle. And you have a fairly famous spokesperson for this campaign. Who might that be? That would be Danica Patrick, who also follows a very healthy driven lifestyle. Uh, I got to meet Danica at one of the events. She is just about this small. I'm actually taller than her and she's a heck of an athlete uh, for her size. She is, and if you listen to her story, she follows what a healthy lifestyle is all about. Danica's from the Chicago area too, and she, like Edwards Elmhurst Healthcare, is healthy driven. We're at the Cyclops warm-up tent, where many of the women for the women's pro race that will be taking place shortly are trying to get their legs loose, so they've got a shot at winning their criteria race. I'm gonna go down the line and find out where some of these racers are from. Tell me your hometown, please. Oh my gosh, hi. Hi. I didn't hear anything you said. Yes, you were listening to the great I, music, oh weren't yeah, you? Yeah. Do you race with the music? No, you're not allowed to, no. <laughs> Where's your hometown? Libertyville. Libertyville. Yeah. Uh, St. Charles. St. Charles. Chicago. 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 I'm Amy Cutler and I'm from Manville, New Jersey. There we go. They come from all over the country to race in the third annual Elmhurst Cycling Classic. Oh, say can you
the Elmhurst Park District plays a major role in running the Elmhurst Cycling Classic. And with me is Executive Director Jim Rogers. Jim, tell us a little bit about the Park District's involvement. Well, John, um, as we have been every year since the race started, we're very proud and excited to be a part of the race this year once again. Um, as you can see behind us, the Wilder Mansion plays a key role um, in providing a venue for viewing and watching the race. Some other things people might not know, kind of some smaller touches right next to the mansion. One of the uh, tennis courts is actually used for valet parking for folks who ride their bikes here to the race so they can bring their bike, take it to the tennis courts, put it in tennis courts, and it's kind of kept safe throughout the, the uh, time they're here at the event. So really pleased to be a part of it. And obviously the race is just one of many things the Elmhurst Park District does over the course of the year. You still have some big things coming up before the end of summer and the early part of fall. We sure do, John. Thanks for asking. Um, we got a number of exciting events coming up. Uh, first and foremost, we look forward to folks coming out to Barron's Park on uh, on August 20, uh, 22nd to join us for Park Palooza. Um, we're working with a number of special sponsors here in Elmhurst, Par Elmhurst including Community Bank of Elmhurst and Elmhurst Hospital. Um, I think the Schiller Group and also Schomburger Brothers, so we're excited about that. Um, and then we're excited about another really exciting uh, new initiative um, we're fundraising for a playground for everyone, which is a fully inclusive playground, the first of its kind in the area, that will be built next year in Butterfield Park. And we're going to be launching a crowdfunding campaign online on August 25th. So we're hoping to get a lot of support from the Elmhurst community for that as well. And then finally, this is the 40th anniversary of the, the start of Sugar Creek Golf Course. And we're going to be celebrating that in an open house at the golf course on August 25th. So we'd invite the community to come out for that as well. And I happen to know you've already gotten two major sponsors to step up on that Universal Park. You want to promo them here? You bet, absolutely. We're very excited to be partnering uh, first and foremost with Special Kids Day. Um, and But then in addition, we've received big uh, uh, commitments and contributions from the Kiwanis Club of Elmhurst and the JCs as well. And we're talking to a number of service clubs and uh, contributions and donations are welcome from anyone. And the Elmhurst Chamber is going to help them celebrate Sugar Creek. Our golf outing's there on August 28th. That's right. Thanks, Jim. Thank you, John. I'm right outside the Bahati Racing Tent, and if you think racing is tough, prepping to race is even tougher. A cyclist might spend as much as an hour on a warm-up bike getting ready to do a race that might only last 30 or 35 minutes. It's quite an effort. How you doing? Tired. <laughs> How'd you do in your race today? Not well enough, but you know, it was fun. There you go. He finishes his race and he's right back on the bike. It's a dedicated group of racers. I'm here with Tim Radcliffe of Elmhurst Masters Competitive Cycling. They are one of the key sponsors of the Elmhurst Cycling Classic. And actually, Tim just finished his Masters 35 race. What was it like out there? 
It was unbelievably fast and unbelievably hard this year. The competition's getting harder and harder. Uh, you gave the hometown fans a thrill. You, move, uh, you moved up in the top three there for, for a number of laps. I, I jumped to a breakaway. I had one match to burn. I burned it, and I was all done. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, sections of the course have been completely repaved. What was the difference in racing on it from past years? Higher speeds throughout the entire course. I think we averaged close to 28 miles an hour for our group. The pros will be at 32 to 33 miles an hour for the course. It's fast. Uh, year three of the competition, it's been growing. What are you most proud of? Well, I'm proud of the competition, but I'm most proud, proud of all of the people in Elmhurst. You think about all the groups that have to be involved. The park district, the city, the police, the fire, the college. There, there's hundreds of people who have been involved to put this thing on. And, you know, you hear the phrase, it takes a village. It, we've got a whole village that's coming out, and this is good, fantastic for Elmhurst. Tim Radcliffe from EMC Squared.